Miss Benseal. Hi. It's good to see you again. Good to see you too. How are you feeling? I'm feeling better, but still so concerned. Um, so I'd like to just summarize what's happened so far to give you some insight as to why we do things, mm -hmm. as well as talk to you about some next steps. Okay. We've, we've put together uh, this decision aid for you. Okay. Okay, so that I mentioned earlier we're going to focus on next steps. Mm -hmm. your, your initial evaluation told us two things. First of all, we can focus on your heart. Mm -hmm. And second of all, our initial results are reassuring. Okay. Okay. So that's where we are. So mm -hmm. um, the standard here is to make sure you haven't had a heart attack. We'll need to do two more blood tests in the next five hours. Okay. okay. So stay here and do, okay, two right. more blood tests. And the, what we'll be focusing on now is mm -hmm. after those two blood tests have been drawn mm -hmm. and presuming they're also negative or reassuring. Okay. What would your next step be? Mm -hmm. Okay. That's okay. what we're going to be talking about now. That's what we're looking now. at now. Okay. So okay. the next uh, possibility to consider would be a stress test. Mm -hmm. And our stress test, like after taking all the blood tests, we can tell you confidently that you have or have not had a heart attack. Okay. But we're not able to tell you what is your future risk very well. So the stress, the stress test will help test. refine what your risk of a pre-heart attack is. Mm -hmm. So based on eight characteristics such as age mm -hmm. and gender and so on that are mm -hmm. specific to you, okay. we can tell you what your risk of a heart attack or a pre-heart attack in the next 45 days is. Okay. And that's what this shows us. Shows us my, my risk. Your, your individual risk. Okay. It says of every 100 people with factors like yours, mm -hmm. Uh, four people had a heart attack or pre-heart attack in the next 45 days and 96 did not. Okay. This is a picture that shows you the same thing. Well, that's just knowing that is very reassuring. I, <laughs> I feel good about that. Okay. Yeah, good. Good. So um, that's our situation now. Mm -hmm. And so we have four treatment options for us and they're all listed here and you'll get a chance to read them okay uh, once I leave the room okay so the first one is after you've had those two blood tests mm -hmm. you, you just want to hop on the treadmill and get the stress here. test here okay um, the second option is uh, once you've had those two blood tests and they're not normal mm -hmm. that we could arrange a appointment with a heart doctor here in the next 72 hours next three days um, the third option is if um, you would prefer to see your own primary care mm -hmm. physician, mm -hmm. um, but it would make me feel better if I knew you could see your own doctor within three days. Okay. And if you choose that option, I would mm -hmm. probably still provide you the appointment. Just as a in backup. case I couldn't see my doctor. Okay. Right. And right. then this has been a long day, and this is something that you'd mm -hmm. just rather have me make the decision for you. Mm -hmm. uh, and if maybe you don't feel like you have sufficient family support or, mm -hmm. or whatever you need to make the decision right now. Okay. So those are our four options. Um, why don't, um, I'll give you a chance to, to contact one of your family members. Okay. Understand they're not here right now. You'll probably right. need to call them. I'd like them. to call my husband. Yep. And then I'll come back in a few minutes once you've had a mm -hmm. chance to read through this and talk with your, okay, great. With your husband. Good. And then we'll go and from there. And then make a decision. Yes. Okay. Okay. That sounds good. Okay. Great. I'll be back in a, in a few minutes. Okay. Sounds good.